Welcome back. This is AC Sports and this is Towson Baseball. Here's the first pitch of the game. It's going to be a ball. All right, this is Towson Baseball and their final scrimmage before the season starts on Monday. They're facing the Falston Cougars. They've had two scrimmages before them. Lost both of them in good games. And hi, I'm Natalie Jimiani. It's a nice, uh, cool 73 degrees outside at Towson High School on Friday, March 18th. I think this is going to be a good game. What do you think about it, Liam? I think so, too. Both teams look pretty evenly matched. Towson was saying, obviously, this is a scrimmage, but this is definitely a must win for them if they want to get some confidence going into facing Hereford on Monday in their first game. Yeah, I agree. Here's another pitch. Starting pitcher, Jackson Hawk. It's his first start. All right. Falson, I believe this might be their first scrimmage of the year. Was talking to some of their players before the game. Mm. Jackson setting up for the next pitch here. To his windup. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a four pitch walk. All right, so not a great start for him there. Just got to get back into it. Just warming up. And that was Burgess Kimes playing right field. This is number 10, last name Rock, playing center field. This is Hawks' first start of the season. He's one of their younger pitchers as opposed to the who's Towson had for a while. Their core of, uh, led by Chase Sapensky, who's playing first today. So Hawk, he's getting back into the pitch here. All right, he's pitching pretty well. Just got to reel it all in. Obviously, definitely some nerves going against mm -hmm. live hitting for the first time here. Throw back to first base. Doesn't get him in time. Almost got him. Now Towson last year, this year, they got some big expectation. Last year they made it to the playoffs for states, but lost in the corner finals. Uh, had a comeback happen on them, so they weren't able to get there. But this year they got the same expectations. Going to states. And here's another pickoff. Won't be able to get him. Towson led by a lot of seniors this year. So they're really looking. This is going to be probably... I think this is going to be a good season for them. I think it will, too. Yeah, it's they learned the their lesson. Mm -hmm. Last big shot, really, to go for it. And that's going to be a pitch low. Hawk just having some control issues right now. He's got to reel it in a little bit more. Let them hit, let them hit the pitch. Trust his defense. Just starting to be the perfect season for baseball, too, which is nice. Here's the pitch. And that's me taking that's a strike. Good pitch there by Hawk and right mm -hmm. back into it. Falson season also starting on Monday. And here's another pickoff. Just can't seem to get it. Number eight clearly rattling Hawk a little bit. Mm -hmm. Trying to make sure he stays close to the bag. Not taking a terribly big lead, but enough to make him worry. Pitching this time, asking me outside. Teammates trying to coach him on here. Just got to get into the groove a little bit there. Oh, I love the Towson pride that this team has. They got a lot of pride for their players. It's a great community mm. here. Oh, and that's going to be fouled back to the behind him over the backstop. Towson's field really looking nice right now. They've done a good job with it early in the season. <laughs> Getting it ready. This team's going to have a big comeback this season. I think they so. They learned their lesson. Seniors want some, want some revenge. Exactly. And here's the steal. And he's going to hit it. And oh. that's going to be in play. They're going to first. Gets the easy out. Keeps the runner on second. Smart play there by starting catcher number 41, Andrew Steinbacher. Ball just came right off his bat. Died right away. Noah Corman there. Telling his men what's going on. There's a man on second. Number 13. It's looking over, you know. Yes, it is. Man on second. One out here. Number two coming up, Fox. Short stop. Hawk looking back. Taking a nice, sizable lead there at first base. Oh, and he was he's getting very deep. Trying to go for that steal of third. 
That's the end of that was fouled off. Again here with one out. Nothing, nothing. It's the top of the first. Getting a good early game in. Spitch takes another big lead. That's going to be a little high. You know, I think these scrimmages really help the players get into the groove of things before it all really starts to matter. Mm -hmm. It's good to have them, get them all warmed up after a long off season. And that's a good strike. Fox setting back up, getting back into the groove of it. And Hawk doing his wind up, here's the pitch. And that's going to be another strike mm -hmm. right at the letters. Two strikes now. Fox got to fight here to keep and not get struck out. Keep the at-bat alive. Falston also looking to have a good year. Here's the pitch. Payoff pitch. And that's going to be fouled back. Just doing what he said he needed to do. Stay alive right now. Now Towson in the field today. Hawks pitching at first base is Chase Sapensky. Second base, Ryan Boyce. Third, ba uh, sh third base, Noah Corman. Shortstop, Rico Talley. Right field, here's the pitch. And that's going to be hit. Michael Stamatos, who I was about to say was in right field, making a nice play coming in on that ball. There's two outs now. So Stamatos in right field. Justin Mealy in center. And Nate Drosky in at left field. As I said, Hawk is pitching today. Pitching today for the Cougars is Finn Jordan. And that's who's up at the bat right now. Also hitting cleanup, versatile player. He's a junior for them, so a little bit of youth in their lineup. So there's two outs, man on second. Here's the pitch from Hawk. That's a strike. Getting ahead of the counts, very important. Helps a lot with confidence, especially for a newer pitcher. Another pitch. And now it's going to be another strike. Two strikes, two outs. Jordan's got to really just close up that strike zone, foul anything off that he can, or try to make good contact with the ball. They have a runner in scoring position right now, and they had him with one out, so they don't want to waste this. Here's the pitch. And that's a strike three. I'm sorry, no, that was strike two. Take yeah. that back. That was strike. Yep. Got a little ahead of yourself, man. A little bit ahead of myself. A little it's bit okay. ahead of... Uh, no, we love that Towson Pride. We just want to see our players win, you know? All right, so now here's the pitch. That could be the third strike. And he's fouling that off. Good contact there. Good contact. Making sure that he doesn't strike out. Hawks done a good job coming back from that first batter walk. That can rattle a lot of pitchers, make them not feel confident going into the game. But he's done well. Got some Towson fans supporting as well. It's nice to see, especially with the scrimmage. Another pitch here, and that's going to be a liner. Rico Talley, nice play. Gets it into first, and that's three outs. Good play there by Rico Talley. All right, and that'll be the top of the first inning. Towson, still nothing, nothing to Falston. And leading off for the Generals is going to be Justin Mealy, followed by Chase Sapensky, Rico Talley, and then hitting cleanup is Ryan Boyce. They've got a good lineup. As we said, basically all seniors except for yeah. D.H. Ryan Kennedy. And then some people on the bench as well who will definitely get some playing time. But Towson, led by a good group of hitters, Kennedy, Stamatos, Boyce, Talley. All these players have a great heart of the order. Mealy's a good lineup top of the order hitter and he's going to step in here I'm going to get some damage early Neely digging in players encouraging him in the back here's the pitch and he hits one that's going to go foul right right into the Towson Creek Towson run as it was getting set again Second pitch. 
And that's high. Just lost his control a bit on that one. Justin didn't really get yeah, it any time at all. So it's one and one. No outs. Justin dig again. That was a good pitch there. Towson led by head coach Tormy. He's been the head coach for a while. Led some good teams. And that's going to be fouled back. That's two strikes there on Justin. comes the pitch and Justin with a liner is that going to get over that gets over the second baseman's head that's the first hit Going of the game first base. great piece of hitting there by Justin Mealy dug in don't try not didn't try to do too much with it hit right over the second baseman's head hit him where they ain't great hit there now he said batting second now Sapensky Justin taking comfortable lead That's a good pitch there. Good strike. Just doing as we said what we needed to do. Just get some good contact early. Try to bring some runs around. A little bit high. One and one. Spensky digging in for another one. Here's the pitch, and Justin stealing. That's going to be fouled back. Justin, good player, quick player, plays soccer as well. Multi-sport athlete, so he's athletic. Here's that pitch. Oh, and that's going to be a little bit low, and that's going to get past the catcher. Justin easily taking second base there. Good piece of base run, running, heads up base running. The pitcher's got to find his control right now for Falston. Digging in, Justin. Taking a good lead off. That's going to be outside. a big pitch here. Oh, Chase, good contact, but pops it up. That's deep center field. Good play there. Justin tried to tag Justin up. Going to third. And he makes it easily. Good piece of contact there by Chase Suspensky. Drove it all the way up to the track. Just was not able to get enough on it. A little bit too high to truly get out. This is number three. This is their star player, Rico Talley. So he's looking to have a nice game here. There's one out. Justin now already to third. It's a good position for Towson to be in, especially with their heart of the order coming up. Pitcher digging in, Rico Talley. And that's going to be high. Justin taking a nice lead off third again. Trying to scare the pitcher a little bit. Third baseman is not playing too close to the back either. Oh, no. Comes now a little bit more now. In. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. He's trying to do something there. Yeah, he's tricking us. That's going to be hit back. Yeah. 1-1 one, one there. Sure one, hope one, there's, one no, there's no kids in that stream back there. Uh, there are. Oh, well. <laughs> Look at a gift. So hopefully he isn't hit too hard. Oh. Look at that. Rico Talley pops up. Second baseman tonight looking to make a play. Nice catch. And he's out. Just gets under the ball there. Pops it up. Two outs now for Falston. Hoping to get out of this jam. Would definitely be a sign of confidence for the pitcher. 
I'm still looking at Justin Mooley on third base. So is the pitcher. <laughs> so is Jordan. And he's Ryan Boyce, cleanup hitter, looking to bring him in. Still nothing, nothing. No runs. Here comes the pitch. Ryan Boyd. Oh, takes it low. Oh, gets past the catcher. Justin looking like he was ready to run there, but it was able to be stopped. It's a short backstop here at Towson, which means balls don't carry him too far, except if it goes to the left or right. So the catcher was got lucky off that one. Was able to save it on a low in the dirt pitch, so it's one and nothing here. Not too windy today either. Pretty much perfect conditions for some nice spring baseball. And that's going to be high. Trying to overcompensate, getting a little bit more height. He's just clearly having some control issues. No walks yet, but that's because people have made contact a little bit early. Got to pitch to those hits, as he was doing a couple times, and that's when he got the two outs. But when he's trying to pitch around him, just struggles with the control. And that's high as well. This is 3 nothing here on Ryan Boyce. Hitters count. You know he's looking to get a good swing on this one. Here's the pitch. And takes it high. Good eye there from Ryan Boyce. Four-pitch walk. Now runners at the corners. Ryan Kennedy coming up. As we said, the one non underclassman, non-senior on wow. the team. Very good hitter. DHing today usually plays catcher, but Steinbacher, their main starting catcher, playing today. So Kennedy's got a – they need his batting lineup. And here's a pickoff attempt. But good eyes there from Boyce. So with runners at the corners here, pitcher's got to be thinking he just needs to get out of this. That's all he should be worrying about right now. Here comes the pitch. That's a little bit high. Trying to take some deep breaths. Reminds me of my days pitching in rec. Good times. They were good times. Never a situation as tense as this one, though. You can feel it in the air. Okay. Cut it with a knife almost. Exactly. Even with a even with a scrimmage, obviously. Everyone here still caring about the results. Fans, parents, everyone coming out to see him. That's a good pitch there. Good strike. Though it did not look like Kennedy appreciated that. I thought it might have been just a little bit low, below the knees. One ball, two strikes here. So he needs one more strike to try to get out of this inning. He sets up. Here's the pitch. Runner stealing. And they're just going to let him go. Obviously, don't you don't want to go for the double steal there. Boyce on second, Justin taking home. With his speed, he could have easily gotten there, of course, if they had thrown. But smart move by the catcher, letting him take second. So now runners at second and third, two men in scoring position for Ryan Kennedy, who would obviously love to get a hit here in a clutch situation. Start the season off right. And that's going to be low. Kennedy commanding his team, holding him at third. Towson, you know, they do play aggressive on the base path. They like to steal, um, as is the custom, of course, in high school baseball. A lot of steals. Base running is a big way to get an advantage on the other team. Here comes the pitch. And that's going to be a sharp liner. Oh, Mealy what's a nice play. Home. Will they get him at first? And he's out. Very good play by the third baseman there. Number 15, Schweitzer, bounced off his glove on a hot one. Was able to recover, get it into first base. No run score. Stays nothing, nothing. Going to the top of the second. Hawks still saying in. He pitched really well that first inning. So Towson unable to capitalize on those runners in scoring position. Just were not able to get, get good enough contact. Obviously made contact with the ball. Not able to get good enough to bring someone home. But it's nice to see that they are making good contact with the ball. Hot grounder to third. Nice bloop single over second base. A couple good long flyouts. Obviously... In a game, you want, want those to fall, but it is good just to know that you're making good contact. As we said, big for the team's psyche. All right, and 
Number 13, Kevik. Kevk, DHing today. Hitting that number five spot. Looking to take his hacks here. Good pitch. One, oh, and one. Another pitch here, uh, a little bit low, one and one. Hockley have another clean inning here. Thirteen, looking to change that pitch coming in from Hawk. Like a little bit off speed pop up. Sapensky trying to make a play. Ryan Boyce calls him off. Nice play there by Boyce. Confident play. Sapensky was going back. Didn't have the right angle on it. Boyce did. Called him off. Nice play. Love the teamwork. That's one thing you can definitely say about Towson. They do a very good teamwork, obviously, and that's what makes them good as a team. That's what makes them work, if you will. Well, that's what I always say. Teamwork makes the dream work. Thank no? you so much. Yeah. That's the Towson motto, actually. Really? Yeah. Huh. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he swings at a low one. Not happy with that. That's number uh, three, Nalls, playing left field. You can hear the birds, too. It's just a beautiful day for baseball, especially with spring training coming back for the MLB. And that's another low one that he swings on, making the guy chase, dropping these pitches out of the zone. So he's up early, 0-2 with one out. Looking for a very clean inning. Hawk setting up for the pitch. Coming in. Oh, and that's strike three. Three swings, sw three misses. Great pitching performance there from Hawk. And the Towson crowd just goes wild. Oh, they absolutely do. Excited to see, of course. Plus, in their playoff games, they can get some home playoff games this year. Towson's really going to show, as they have in the past. They have for basketball games earlier this year, lacrosse games. Baseball the team loves getting that same support. And this is the number seven hitter, uh, number 11, on the team, Slitcher, playing at first base. Comes another pitch from Hawk. And fouls it down. Already one strike on him. Now Hawk obviously uh, is not one of the main starters. He will be on the team and he will be pitching. Beat out a couple other people for this position um, to get on varsity and pitch. And that's a grounder down the left field line. Left field line, nice play there by Noah Corman. Great throw. One, two, three up, one, two, three down. Good pitching performance from Hawk there. No hits, no errors, nothing in the inning. Stay nothing, nothing as we go in to the bottom of the second. Bottom of the second here. Finn Jordan still in. Stamatos, number six hitter, and he hits a sharp one down that left field line, and that's going to be a fair ball. Stamatos immediately Stamatos going looking past to. First. He's running hard. And, and he makes it just in time to second. Good play there by Stamatos. Amazing play. First pitch rips it down that left field line, scaring us a little bit here in the left field side. Yeah. Were we you have expecting a, that? We have a glove if we need it. Oh, yeah. We'll be fine. We got this. So. Very good start there for the team. And following him now is Noah Corman. Made that nice play at third base to get out of the inning. So he's looking for some good contact here as well to try to score Stamatos. Stamatos with good speed as well. Also on the basketball team. It's going to be 1-0. Looks like there's going to be, they're calling a timeout here. So how do you think of the team's performance so far, Natalie? I think Towson's doing a great job so far. I think both teams had to really get into it first, though. I mean, it's a scrimmage. That's true. That's can't true. really, can't really judge. No, not too much. Of course, you know the main thing is just making sure you see, you know, how the players team are doing works. well. Exactly. You know? The team works together, and both teams are looking pretty good so far. Obviously, no runs allowed. Towson definitely making some more damage than Falston, but neither able to capitalize on anything they've had. 
So it's 2-0 now. Jordan switching balls. Corman looking alive. Trying to make some good contact here. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a strike. Right down the middle. Nice pitch there. Getting right back into it. Good pitch there to throw off Corman. And that's going to be dribbled down the right field side. Productive out. They get him out at first base. But a productive out on the right side. Stamato's now on third. That's why it's productive. Oh. And here comes number eight, Steinbacher. I'm glad to report there is a father standing now in front of, basically right in front of us, so he can catch any balls that come our way. And he's a glove, too. He's ready. Here's the pitch here from Jordan. Coming to Steinbacher. That's a strike. Same situation Towson was in last time. One out, man on third. Now, obviously, they're looking to do better than they did in the first inning. Bring that man in. Get an early lead out. Steinbacher getting into it again. Great defensive player. And timeout is called by Steinbacher to get back in to the field. As all these players are trying to do, get back into the field of the game. Takes that one low. One and one. Jacobson setting up for another one. Or Jordan, sorry. That's going to be a bit outside. Two and one. Towson player saying he has a good eye. He does. Steinbacher setting up again. Here's the pitch. And he's going to take that one. Two and two. Coach telling him, just try to make contact here. Ground ball is a run. Obviously, just looking for a ground ball or something in play that can get Stamatos down, even a long pop out. So just looking to make some good contact here. Steinbacher, nice hit. Nice. Going far over the heads of everyone. Great contact there by Steinbacher, who's coming into Stamatos second base. is at home. Stamatos is at home. It's one nothing. Towson. Steinbacher, Steinbacher with a stand-up double. What a piece of hitting. See, so you just had to get comfortable into it. Had to get... Exactly. How to get the motions. Natalie, you just love to see that. He had a great hit I know. over the heads of everyone just landing right in front of you know what I think that did outfield it? fence. I think it was all the encouragement from the Towson team. I agree. Towson team, Towson coach. It was Steinbach with a good double. It looks like he is going to be getting subbed out here. Alexander Hart coming in for him. Beautiful dap there. Clean. Clean dap. 10 out of 10. So uh, Hart's coming in now. Hart, quick runner, fast runner. Oh. So it is now one nothing, Towson. And there's that first pitch. Strike. So now still with one out. Man on first, or second, sorry. And number two, Nate Drosky hitting ninth. This Towson team's just full of good hitters, as you've shown there. Bottom of the order, number eight hitter makes a great piece of hitting, great piece of contact, able to drive it over everyone. Here's another pitch here from Jordan. And Drosky fouls it behind. Back to the stream. Jordan put a lot of effort into that. Yes, he did. He's trying to survive this inning with only one person reaching home. Still got some stuff to worry about with a man on second, especially with someone that has as much speed as Hart does. A little bit high. Trotsky, good take. Watches another one. 
you and count here. Two and two. Trotsky kind of trying to keep the inning alive here. And that's going to be a high pop-up. And that's going to fall yeah. fair. Nice piece of hitting there. And Alexander Hart, Hart just makes it to third. Great play there by Hart. Oof, had me scared a little bit. That was a little bit scary, but it a landed. A little bit close. Landed fair. Couldn't exactly see it, but it landed perfectly just to the right of the foul ball marker. So Drosky with a nice hit there. Lands it perfectly within the middle. Hart obviously only only get, get to third in case of being tagged up. But able to advance the runner. And Drosky with a good double as well. And they are bringing in a new pitcher. Number seven. Hmm? Good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But, uh, you know what to do, right? You, this one's a little different. You have to change it here and then send it down. So they're bringing a new pitcher here, number 17. As we said, Melo Velez, we saw him warming up a little bit earlier. Umpires coming on now. So good break for the umpires and the pitcher. So new pitcher now. New top of the order here. So Towson basically just a full restart for the Falston Cougars. Back to Mealy. Takes one up high. Runners at second and third again. Bottom of the second. one nothing Towson trying to add to that lead is Mealy. And he gets one down. Oh, and they run into each other, and nobody will score. I'm sorry, nobody will get out. Oh, and they do just get Drosky there. So Hart scores. Good piece of hitting. Um, but Drosky is thrown out second. Good recovery there from the two infielders who collided. Hopefully everything's all right there. Both trying to make a play on the ball, and that's what we were talking about, just Scrimmage is a good place to work on teamwork, calling the ball. Um, that prob one prob run was probably going to score anyway, but you want to try to keep the runner on third and maybe get the out at first as well. But now Justin's on, two outs, Sapensky up here. Outside. So as we said now, 2 nothing. They're taking a the timeout here. Looks like Mealy's going over to second. There's two outs here from Towson. Mealy. Mealy's going to be going on contact. As he takes second there. They're looking for that little bit of a pickoff. Not going to come. There's a pitch to Spensky. Takes another one. 2-0. and oh. Good showing out here for both teams, especially Falston, who's 30 minutes away. Another pitch here. That's low. 3-0. Oh. Got to reel back in that control now. With it being 2 nothing, Towson, trying to limit the damage. Two outs, just trying to get an easy out plays is at first. Mello winding up. And that's going to be a good strike there, coming back. Spensky looking for a good piece of hitting. And obviously, they got to watch out about Mealy as well, who was able to take third earlier in the game in the first inning. Oh, and that was a nice off speed. Fooled the guy a little bit. That was nice. Sapensky now it's 
Pitcher's gone back into this count. Takes one low. I'm sorry. I think now it is 3-2. 3-2 with the two outs. Justin running on contact, running on the pitch. So if Chase can get a hit here, Justin, who will be running on the pitch here, will be able to score if Chase can get some contact on the ball. And he oh. does. <laughs> nice hit. Oh, what a play. Oh. What a play by the center fielder. And Justin jogs. Jogs back to the bench. Yes. What a play by the center fielder there. Number 10, Rock, was a little bit over his head, made a jump, caught it top of the glove. You know, so any way that you can get it done. Exactly. And very athletic play there. So as we are going to go into the top of the third, 2-0 Towson, a few hits for them in this inning, and a run. And we're back. Top of the third. 2-0 Towson. Towson, as we said, great start of this game. Did exactly what they needed to do. Everyone getting some. Both nice plays in the field and on the bat. And Ryan Boys, as we saw him warming up last inning, is in. So a great outing for Hawk. Two innings of work. Nobody scores. Only, I think, a walk. And I think just a walk, actually. As this is number 15, Schweitzer coming in. So a no hit, two innings for Hawk. Boyce, one of their better pitchers. Ball a little bit low in the dirt, just got to get used to it. Boyce setting up. Schweitzer had that nice play in the first inning to get out of the inning. That's a good strike there from Boyce. One ball, two strikes. Nobody on, nobody out. Here comes the pitch. And that is a good piece of contact. Mealy, good play. Reminiscent of the final play of the bottom of the second. Good piece of contact. Mealy right in front of that hill. Uh, now the hill at Towson's field is a very unique feature of their field. It is in the field of play if anyone was wondering. And people do come up on that. Balls do go up on there. Very steep. It is. Tough to make a play there. Yeah. Here comes the pitch to Boyce, number six. That's going to be a strike. Boyce setting up again. He's got a quick wind-up. One and one here. Into the field of Towson, reminiscent of the old Astros field before they got rid of the hill in Minute Maid Park. Here's the pitch. That's a strike, one and two. You know, the Astros have really picked up this, these past few years. I wonder why. Uh, Maybe it's that new field. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Here comes a pitch from Boyce. And that's going to be a strike as well. So it looks like there was two strikes. 2-2. Two, two. Got to make some good contact here. Poise with the pitch. That's outside. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Ryan Boyce setting up again. Here's the pitch. Fouls it back. Staying alive. This is number six, Bark. Who's playing at second? Back to the full count. With one out. Boyce on the pitch. And that's a strike three. Strikeout. Great job there. Caught him looking. Boyce did. So now there's two outs. Speaking of the Astros, of course, the Orioles close to signing Carlos Correa. Very interesting move for them. Be their star player as everyone else is on the come up. No, I heard the Yankees are thinking about him too. Nope. 
Well, yeah, they were, but, you know, obviously wants to go to the more promising team. Here's the pitch from Boyce. That's a good eye there. One and nothing. Boyce, a little bit behind the count. That's going to be high as well. He takes a wide duck. Number five, this is Farley, who's the catcher. Boyce setting up again, 2 nothing. That's a good pitch. That's what he wants to do. Two, two balls, one strike. Top of the third. Switch. That's another strike. 2-2. Two, two. Ryan Boyce right back into this. That's not a good pitcher. Towson looking to get out of this one quickly as well. Boyce setting up. Here comes the pitch. And that's strike three, and that's the end of the inning. Amazing inning by Towson. Great piece of work from Ryan Boyce. Three up, three down. And that's going to end at the top of the third. No hits, no errors. It's 2 nothing Towson going to the bottom of the third. And it's the bottom of the third. Rico Talley just saw Justin Mealy walk past. He's also going to be warming up. So Towson is going to be using a lot of pitchers, keeping their people fresh. Here comes the pitch from Mello. First pitch of the inning, and that's going to be a ball. 2 nothing here from Towson. Just been a good overall game for them. Looking like the better team so far. Still a lot of innings to play. Oh, and that's going to fall in there. Number 17, Melo Velez, has very good off-speed stuff. We've seen him catch a couple people off guard with that. Just falls in there nice and slow. And that's another strike. Tally now behind, one and two. In this first at-bat, Tally unable to get a hit going. Had a pop-up. And that's going to run right where he hit that pop-up. Second base making the play. And that's save. Oh, no. That is out. The coach called safe. Looked like he might have just been there, but able to get the throw. Nice play there from the second baseman, Bark, to the first baseman. Rico cannot catch a break today. No. Hit a bit behind, under it. Caught by the second baseman. Had a nice hit there. Good piece of running, unable to make it to first base. 17 now, just pitched. It's Ryan's boys. Here was the pitch. That's going to be high. Ryan boys going to be followed then by Ryan Kennedy and then Michael Stavanos. Playing a little bit deep on him. The shortstop is, no, he has some power. And that's another one of those off speeds I've been talking about. Just falls right in there, tricks the headers. Got Tally with that, and he got now Boyce. He's clearly got some nasty stuff. Mello coming in. That's going to be ball low, 2-1. and one. Here's the pitch. And Boyce pops it up. Pops up. Left side, left fielder calling it. Good play. Clean play there. So that is now two outs. Two up, two down for Towson. Great piece of work here from Fawson and a great pitching performance so far in this inning from Melo Velez. Melo Velez. But here comes Ryan Kennedy up. Dangerous hitter. A lot of power. Especially for someone who's a little bit younger. You just wonder what he can do with a couple more years of experience. Here comes the pitch. Kennedy sits on that one, but it's going to be called a strike. Just waiting to see his stuff. So it looks like Melo Velez, you know, he has some off speed to throw you off. Um, and then he has that fastball that you got to watch out for as well. So pretty well-rounded pitcher. But that's going to be called a ball. Right around that same spot as the first pitch. Might have just eked out of the strike zone a bit. So it's one and one. Here comes the pitch to Kennedy. 
And Kennedy Sharp one. Oh, nice grab there by number 15. Gets him to first base. That's going to be a 1-2-3 inning for the Falston Cougars. Great pitching there from number 17. And we're going to be going to the top of the fourth. 2-0 Towson. It's the top of the fourth here. Justin Mealy now coming to the pitch, which means some defensive changes. Nate Drosky going in at second. Curtis Tong, rangy center fielder in at center field. And Ethan Corman in at left field. Justin, first pitch. Nice pitch. So we're back to the top of the order here for the Falston Cougars. Number eight, Bowges Kimes. Digging in. Mealy, another good pitcher for Towson. Towson just has a lot of good depth all around on their roster, which is why they continually are picked to be one of the better teams. As Melville is coming off a good pitching performance, runs back. We'll see if he stays in for a third straight inning. I haven't seen anyone else warm up. He's done his job so far. Limited the damage. Only one run allowed. Number eight digging in again. Here comes the pitch for Mealy. A little low. Just a bit. Two balls, one strike here. Mealy looking to keep the no-hitter alive. And that's a good pitch. Good piece of pitching. Swing and a miss there from number eight. Number eight's got a low strike zone. He's got a very crouch batting stance. And he hits it second baseman. Drosky fields. That's clean. Suspense, he gets some. You like to see that one. Like. Love. That's, yeah, that's true. You love to see that one. Love to see. You love to see that one for Towson. All right. One out here. Still nothing going for Falston. Looking to get some runs alive. Here is number 10, Rock. That's going to be a little bit low. Ball. At least had a good day so far. A couple hits. Now he's pitching. Had a good play in center field as well. So it's 2 nothing. Two balls, no strikes. Here comes the pitch for Mealy. That's going to be low. Mealy looking to get something going. That's a good eye. Just figuring out the count here. Mealy digging in. Here's the pitch. And that's fouled off. Looks like it's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Justin looking to strike a man out here, get some confidence going. Juice is flowing. And that's going to be fouled back. Yeah, Towson's got a great community. You can even see uh, an alumni here. Some players coming back to support the team. You know, some people on the team, just a great community. As that's a pitch, and that's fouled back again. Rock is absolutely battling here. Pitch from Mealy. Fouls another one back. This has been a great at-bat for Rock. He is not giving up. He will not go away. Like a mosquito, you know? Let's try to catch one. Mealy trying to fend him off, and great piece Finally of hitting. Finally gets it. But Drosky in there. Good at bat from Rock. Stayed there. Finally made the contact he wanted to, but just wasn't hard enough or high enough to get over. Drosky, easy play there. Two outs. Number two, Fox. 
Here's a pitch from Mealy. That's going to be low. So there's two outs here on the top of the fourth inning. Halfway through this game. As we know, these games go seven innings as opposed to the Major League Nine. Mealy. And that's going to be a strike. So one and one here. One and one here for Falston. Falston looking just for really anything to get going. And that might do it. Stamatos got to make the play. Won't be able to get it. And that's their first hit of the game. Right on time. They needed that one. Stamatos unable to get it. Two outs still. And here comes number 25, Jordan, their cleanup hitter. Looking to keep this little bit of a rally alive. Good hit there. Just put it just where Stamatis could not get it, even though he's rushing in. Really like they're changing balls here. Here's the pitch for Mealy. Swing and a miss. Falston finally with their first hit and second base runner of the game. Taking a decent sized lead off first. Goes again. And that's going to be fouled back. Quick two strikes on. Oh, line bounces off the tree. Quick two strikes on Jordan here. Coming off his pitching performance. Two strikes now. Justin in a great spot. Can maybe use any off speed. Here he goes. Here's the runner. And that's going to be a grounder to. Oh, it just gets past Rico Tally. They're turning. Good throw there. Curtis Tong getting it into third base. Great throw. Curtis with a great arm to Corman. Corman stops it. So now another good hit there. So now there's two runners on. With two outs, corners. I think Folston might make a comeback. They might be able to here. Tally just looked like I got a little bit slipped up on the field. And that's going to be a grounder right to Corman. Making the play, throwing to first, and he's out. Well, you were wrong um, as there was a trying to get that nice contact, keep the streak of hits alive, but grounds it right to Corman. Makes a good play in the dirt. He's able to get it to first base for the out. And that will end the top of the fourth here. Still 2 nothing, Towson going into the bottom of the inning. Here comes Stamatos. It's the bottom of the fourth here. 2 nothing, Towson. Stamatos had a good hit last time, was able to get a double. Slide in for it. Here comes the pitch. Melo Velez still in, having a good pitching day. And you can hear the sounds of Towson lacrosse as well. Big sports school. Stamatos digs in over his head. Stamatos is the number six hitter playing right field today. Stamatos, oh, he tried to get him with the off-speed, just fell a little bit too much, but still, that off-speed looks like it's coming in as a fastball when he winds up, but just able to slow it down. So nice. Here's another pitch from Melo Velez. That'll be high. And that's going to be a walk. Good piece of hitting there from Stamatos, seeing as he didn't even have to hit. Towson was shut down last inning, and they were able to get out of the top of the fourth with two runners on for Falston, but they'd like a couple insurance runs going into the bottom half of this game. Anything can happen. Corman stepping up, had a nice hit last time, and that'll be a strike. Simonis now on first, was a four-pitch walk. Taking a nice lead. Looks like Falson's warming up another play here. Number 13. 
uh, who was playing DH earlier, Kavek. Mill having a good outing, but obviously they don't want to use him too much. As Corman digs in again. Stamatos going for the steal. Corman, nice piece of hitting. Just wanted to get the bat on that ball. Make sure Stamatos could go. And he's going to be out. Very clean play there from the first baseman. Throw was high. Was able to catch the ball high. Get his foot down quick before Corman got there. Coach obviously wanted it to be safe, but it looked like a pretty clean out. But Stamatos does advance to the second bag. Now in scoring position with one out. Towson's had a lot of runners in scoring position this game. Just about converting them. They've only done it a couple times. And they are playing back a little bit. Steinbacher obviously had that beautiful hit out to left center field. Looking to recreate that one. And he hits it. Basically same spot, just not as far. And Stamatos tagging again. Anyone at third? He's getting down. Good play there by Stamatos. And that's what defensive shifting is for. They played back a little bit more. Steinbacher, obviously looking to do the same thing he did last time, was able to get the bat on the ball, but unable to get it over the fields, over the heads of the fielders because they're playing back. And this is number 40 now, substitution, subbing out Nate Trosky for Adam Decker. Adam Decker has just a hammer of a bat. And no go there from Stamatos with two outs. Two outs, so we need it. they need a hit in order to score. Decker looking to probably hit the ball a mile. Decker digging in. That's a strike, dropped. Decker, another one of those players who's not a senior for Towson, represents the future of the program as a junior. At least of the future of next year. We're going to see a lot of Towson players in this scrimmage. And Decker with a good bat on the ball. He's going to get it to right field. Nobody's going to be able to get there. That's a foul ball. Just a little bit early on that one. Needs to time it up a bit more. Hits it on the barrel a little bit more. Decker just trying to focus. Here, coach is coaching him up. Doesn't need to hit it a mile, of course. Just trying to make contact. Bring another run home with Stamatos on third. Stamatos has been an active member of today's game. Timeout there by Decker. Trying to get back into it. Decker looks like he's using a wood bat. No gloves. Acoustic player. And that's going to be high. Good take there by Decker. Just above his letters. Two balls, two strikes. Got to protect the zone here. Very risky take there, obviously, with two strikes. Here comes the pitch. And Decker's swinging a miss. And that's going to be the end of the fourth. Great piece of pitching again from Melo Velez. Looking like their best player so far today. Strands a runner on third. We're going to the top of the fifth. 2-0 Towson. No, uh, with only, no hits. Only one walk. <laughs> Top of the fifth here. Towson still up 2-0. Drosky now in pitching. So as we said, we're seeing a lot of players. Bain coming in at first base. Boyce back at second. With Mealy now back at center field. Corman and Stamato staying on the corners of the outfield. Good pitch there. Towson looking to have a nice stress-free game. Drosky, good pitcher. Digging in. A little bit high. This looks like it is number one, Jordan. No, I'm sorry. No, this is number one. Elliot. Know, I think. Thank you very much. Number one, Elliot. In. Oh, good fielding there by Jaroski. Flips it to Bain. That's one out. Love when you, love seeing the pitcher flash the glove. <laughs> That's why we have a colored commentator to look at the roster and see what the players are. All right, so good first hitter there for Jaroski. We'll see how he does with the rest. Here's number 11, that's Slicker. So Elliot coming in for Nalls, who's in left field. So here's Slicker. 
Drosky dealing. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there. Drosky into his windup. Peels it back. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be down the left field side. That's going to be fair ball. Corman needs to make a good throw. Gets past Bain. But great backup work by the catcher Steinbacher. That is why you get backups. Would have probably been able to go over to second. But Steinbacher was right behind him, making sure nobody did. Corman's throw obviously needed to make it quick. Needed to make a nice, good throw. Was unable to get it on target. Had to stretch Bain out on that baseline a little bit too much. Unable to make the play. So now there's a runner on first. Number 15, Sweetser up. Good pickoff attempt by Drosky, unable to come through. Taking a nice lead there. Bain ready for the pickoff. Does not go. And just gets the bat in front of it. Corman calling for the ball. Good play. Base didn't even really make a full swing, just kind of brought bat two ball, popped it up to the left field side. Corman with a nice play. Now there's two outs in the top of the fifth inning here. Bringing in number 12, Flanagan. For number six, Bark. There's two outs. Bain waiting for the pickoff attempt. Trotsky not going. Deals right to the hitter. Jams him. Steinbacher trying to make a play, unable to get there. Almost a collision. Two players playing with a lot of hustle. So there's one strike. Two outs here. Flanagan trying to get the bat on the ball here. Put it out somewhere. Start another rally. Boston just not have much offense this game at all. And that's going to be a strike. Tassin's pitching just seems to be kind of pretty much flummoxing them, making them flabbergasted. I like that word. Always been a fan. Good descriptor. Really the only way you can describe Falston. Oh. And that's going to be fouled back to the creek as well. Bouncing around some trees, so that's two strikes now, two outs. Drosky looking to have a nice clean inning. Flanagan trying to make that strike zone small. Just get the bat to the ball. And he does foul ball onto his feet. Hope he's okay. Oof. You hate seeing that. No, no hurt in the morning. Yes, it will. Pickoff attempt. Oh, just safe, but he got him looking a little bit. He got him sleeping. Just got behind the tag. Can't make them feel too comfortable. No, you cannot. Especially with two strikes, two outs. Obviously, he's going on contact. And that's another pitch. That's high. Good catch by Steinbacher. Towson just playing really good all around. No real errors except for that little bit of a mi that missed throw by Corman, but no damage really done. Other than that, no errors, just clean playing. Good hitting, good pitching. Looking to stick with that. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be high as well. And that's a walk. No, I'm sorry. Looked like he was about to walk back. That is, it is 3-2. Trotsky's got to bring this back in. Get out of the inning. Decent lead. Steps off the <laughs> mound. Trying to trick the runner a little bit. Trotsky getting set. Here comes the pitch. Looks like he stepped out. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 2-2. Two -two. With some foul balls. Two balls, two strikes. Another timeout given. This is a classic patter pitcher duel trying to outwit one another in a tough situation. One strike away from getting out of the inning. Oh, but gets past Sam 
on the pickoff attempt, but he is not quick enough. The runner had to slide back in there, was not quick enough to get past. So the botched pickoff attempt will not come back to haunt the Generals, which they love. Here's the pitch by Drosky. And just an easy pop-up. Seemed to catch him right on the knuckles right there. Not great contact. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth. Still 2-0 Towson. Some early runs have propelled them to the lead. And we will see you in the bottom of the fifth. Back here, top of the sixth, bottom of the fifth, I'm sorry, bottom of the fifth. Got a little bit ahead of myself. Yeah, don't get too excited. I'll try not to. How can you not be with this Towson performance? That's going to be a ball. They've come out and done exactly what they need to do, just had a full, complete game on all sides of the ball. But obviously, Falston's still in this, still top of the sixth and top of the seventh for them to go. So they can very certainly make a comeback here. And it looks like there's a new pitcher. Number 13, Gvek, as we were saying that he's warming up, was DHing, now pitching. We'll have to see how he does, try to do as well as Mela Velez and quench the Towson Bats, as that's a high pop-up to the third base side. Third baseman, nice play. Every ball that comes over here, just a little scary, but good play there by the third base side. Third baseman number 15. Sweet. You know, I'm really Sweet thankful team. for this this Falston supporter on the side where we are here no, he protecting is us. ready to make a play. And that's 44. That's Sam Bain. Oh, yes. Bain getting his first hacks at it today. That's going to be a strike. Bain's had a rough go of it this offseason, was dealing with some health issues, but able to be okay well enough to play today, which is great to see. He's made a comeback. Looking to put some good hit on the ball. And that's going to be a nice dribbler down the third base side. Bain trying to beat him out. Will he get there? He will. That's safe. Yep. Coming in the second. There's nobody there. <gasps> Here comes Bain coming around. And that's going to be a stand-up What a double. comeback. Beautiful. You love to see that. Great player. Great guy. Making a good play. Hustled it out. Beat the throw. Throw goes wide. No one there to back it up. As we were talking about the importance of backing up when Steinbacher backed up Bain. So now, on second, no outs, great piece of leadoff hitting. Bain was hitting for Chase Sapensky at first base. And here comes Rico Talley, 0 for 2 today, looking to make a splash here against the new pitcher. Bain leading off a little bit. That's going to be high. And it's going to be time here, talking to the pitcher early on into his outing. Bain on second. Rico in the box. Look at his shoes. Nice neon green. Very nice. Nice neon. Spot him for a mile away. That's what he likes to see. He likes the attention on himself. You know, he likes, he's a confident player. He, Obviously. He wants to, he one. wants to be Towson to be known for him and for the team. Great guy and a great player. Coming back in here. Timeout's over. Here's the pitch. Tally, that's a strike. Tally looking like it was probably a little bit low. He was expecting it to fall a little bit more, but catches the bottom of the strike zone, one and one. So with no outs, bottom of the fifth for Towson, looking to add another insurance run. And Rico fouls it off just off his bat. So that's going to make it one and two. Just trying to get a good piece of hitting here. One ball, two strikes. Rico digging back in. This is where he likes to come through, run around scoring position. Nobody out. Easy way to start a rally. Here's the pitch. And that's a ball. Great eye by Rico Talley. Looked like it might have just been a little bit outside or a little bit low. Not in the strike zone, regardless. Talley digging back in. Here's the pitch from Kvek. 
and he sees that one, and that's going to be a ball as well. Two good takes from Rico Talley. Pitches that looked close from where we're sitting. And here's the pitch here from Kavek. Staring him down, getting the right sign. Winds up. Here it comes. And Tally, good piece of hitting. Is that going to be a that is going to drop? Bain coming down the side, looking to get into home. He's sprinting as much as he can. Good and run scored by Sam home. Bain. They might have had a play at home, honestly. Based off that cutoff was a good job to get that ball to left fielder, but did not throw it in time. So that is going to be 3 nothing Towson now on a great hit by Rico Tally on a 3-2 count, made contact with the ball. Beautiful liner. That's exactly what you want when you're hitting. Bounces right in front of the right fielder. It's 3 nothing Towson. Ryan Boyce now up to bat. As we said, batting cleanup with Rico now on with no outs. And Rico's taking the base. High throw. That's going to bounce. Unable to get him. Now, it helped the catcher out a little bit. The high throw was already standing, able to rip it immediately. But Rico got good speed on him, able to get in there. So now runner in scoring position, no outs. Towson on the verge of breaking through. Ryan Boyce digging in. One ball. That's going to be another pass ball. Rico easily getting to third base. All right, now Rico Talley on third base. No outs. Ryan Boyce digging in. Will Talley be rewarded for his good hit in RBI with a run himself? We'll have to come. We'll have to see. As Ryan Boyce digs back in again. Two balls, no strikes. Hitters count. Anything really deep in the outfield, hit or not, will score Talley with his speed. And he takes another ball. Ryan Boyce is looking confident and composed up there. It's 3 nothing. He knows that Kovac has got to throw a strike here in a tough position, and that's a four-pitch walk, just too high. So coming in now, it's Ryan Kennedy, and they're going to take time out. So the situation here, there's runners on the corners, nobody out. Kovac just not have a good start so far. Got it. Take a couple breaths, come back in with Ryan Kennedy, another good hitter up, and Stamato's right behind him, murderer's row. Of Towson. So it's 3 nothing. bottom of the fifth. As the timeout is over, Kennedy coming back in. Kennedy number 18. Now they'll probably go for the double steal here with Boyce. Good speed, and they do. Doesn't throw it. Smart play. Smart play all around. Gets this to second base, but doesn't risk a run. Kendi looking to put bat on ball in play. Got a couple RBIs. He takes that. And that's going to be a strike. He did not like that. He's not liked a couple of these strikes so far that have been caught on him. So it's 1 and 1. Or I'm sorry, no, it's 0 oh and 1. Here's the pitch by Quebec. Coming in. Kendi takes that one. That's more what he was wanting. Ball, kept, ball on the little bit high of a pitch. Here's the pitch. Ryan Kennedy rips one. Shortstop unable to get it. Both runners coming in, and they will score easily. Great piece of hitting from Ryan Kennedy. Slapped it up that uh, left field side. Passed the shortstop, unable to, was diving for it. Could not get it. Left fielder had to field it himself. Two runs score as they were running on contact. Boyce and Tariq both in, and that's going to make it 5 nothing to Towson. As we said, Towson... Very much so making this a f harder task for Falston to come back. Quebec just not having his best stuff tonight. Throwing too many balls, and when he has to lean back and throw a strike, it's just an easy hit for these Towson hitters. They're taking a little bit of a timeout at the mound right now. Trying to bring him back in. Obviously, he's got the talent to pitch. Hoping to make sure everything's working right for him. His coach is talking to him. Keep him in there. Good faith in his player. 
With Stamatos up, though, that is a dangerous bat. You know he can hit it far. I've seen him hit it into the tennis courts all the way on the other side here. Dead center. The guy can hit. You can tell he's a big hitter by all the parents standing up waiting to catch his ball. That's true. Yes, they are. And he plays a mean cello. Ooh, he does. Yes, he does. Yeah, no, he does. It's beautiful. It is. It's can very put you nice. right to sleep. He's in the pit for the school musical. When is that again, Leo? March 31st, April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Seven Fiddler on the Roof. Fiddler on the Roof, 7 p.m. High school. 2 p.m. on Sunday. That's a matinee. As Stamato digs in. Good to see him helping out at all assets. And that's going to be a pickoff attempt. Good job getting back there by Ryan Kennedy. Really, every member of Towson has performed as they've wanted to, especially in this inning alone. Both Bain, Bain, Boyce, and Rico have all scored. Takes the pitch, and they're throwing him back. Looked like Ryan was about to go, but good play there by the catcher to keep him honest. Stamato's just looking for one to dig at. Here's the pitch. Stamato's big swing does not get any of the ball. You know that he's going for the fences here. They've got a comfortable lead. Now he's just trying to look like a great hitter, which he is. Here's the pitch. Takes it low. Good eye. Patient. Kovac's got to get something going here. There's still no outs in the inning. And with a runner on. This could get very bad very quick. And it's already not been great. Here's the pitch. That's high. Kovac just looking a little bit flustered out there on the mound. Hoping that he can reel it back in. Oh, he's doing the pickoff again. Doesn't get him. Doing that probably to calm down a bit. We know that he DHs often, so probably... Pretty often pitcher for them as well. That's high as well. And that's going to be another walks for Stamatos, who I believe has a hit and two walks. Good pieces of hitting today. Good bats. Good at bats. So now Kennedy, Stamatos is on with number 13, Noah Corman up to bat. Been in the entire game. Kvek. Here's the pitch to Corman. Looking to tee off. Will not. Two runners on. No outs. First and second. We're not going to make this game comfortable. 5 nothing. Towson. Corman sitting on the pitch. Here it comes. And that's going to be a ball. It's two balls. It can be very tough to get outs when you just can't seem to control it. And when you have hitters as good as Towson has... Willing to sit on pitches, not going to chase anything. They know they can be comfortable with this lead. That's another ball. Good eyes all around. Steinbacher in on the on-deck circle. Still playing catcher. Corman again. It looks like the Cougars are sending someone to the bullpen. We'll have to see who it is. And that's going to be a strike. Number 18, that is Rayner who's warming up right now. They probably will be bringing him in after Kavek. After his one or uh, two innings of work. Here comes the pitch to Corman, who just had a strike thrown on him. I believe it's three and one. Here's the pitch. And that's going to get past him, and that's going to be a walk and send the runners. So base is loaded. No outs for Towson. And who's coming up here? It's Steinbacher, who had a great hit. Oof. That's not who you want to see, is it, Natalie? Mm -mm. Knowing how Especially he's Especially with bases loaded. Mm -mm, no. You know he can hit the ball far. Even a even a pop out. As Stamatos just said, he needs to stay hot, which he hopefully will. Andy digging in. That's high. This is just a nerve-wracking situation for Quebec. You know the bases are loaded. You know your team's already down. You're trying to limit the damage as much as possible. Give him a chance to come back in this. But it's a tough situation for any pitcher. And Andy with a big swing, unable to get it.
big hack there, wanted the glory. She needs to wait for his pitch. Get back in it. His teammates are cheering him on. And that's going to be a pop-up behind him, foul ball. So it's two strikes now in Steinbacher. You got Adam Decker in the on-deck circle for Dorowski. And right after him is Mealy. Steinbacher wanted to make something happen here. Here's the pitch. And that's a pop-up. And that's going to be behind him as well. Staying alive in this count. Just needs a hit or something. You're probably going to bring a couple runners home. There's no outs. Trying to make something happen. Definitely feeling confident. Here comes the pitch. Quebec takes it high. Good eye. Good eye by Steinbacher. Foster team trying to stay in this here. Still looking engaged. Still ready. And that's going to be a good hit by Andy Steinbacher. One runner scores. Another runner coming to the Left fielder throwing it in. Going right to home. Nobody is going to be there. Getting it on the third. And he's going to be safe at third. So that's two runs scored. Kennedy and Stamatos. Andy Steinbacher with his second stand-up double of the day as he rips one down the left field side as he's hit all the balls today. Right between the shortstop and the third baseman to the left fielder again. Noah Corman, great piece of running, running to third, under sliding under the tag. And now Adam Decker's up, and there's it is now seven nothing Towson. And here's Decker. And here's Adam Decker. We said 7 nothing Towson. Adam Decker puts a good bat on it. Left fielder gets it. Corman tagging. Clean piece of running there. Hart stays on second base as he's come in for Steinbacher again to pinch run. So that is another good piece of work for Towson. Eight nothing. That's their first out of the inning. And with Bain on deck and Mealy up, and we're about to go through the entire order in this one inning. Still only one out. Looking like they're about to bring in a new pitcher, uh, Rayner. Kovac with a runner on second, one out. Mila hitting good piece of off speed. Great pitch there. Getting it back into the groove just a little bit. With Mealy up. Now it's the top of the order again. Hart got great speed on him. You know that he can go on a single to home to make it 9 nothing. That's high. Was it there? You got to wonder, Natalie, when Faustin will try to bring in another pitcher, how long they want to leave him out there. Well, I just saw someone come back from the bullpen. Mm -hmm. So I think that switch is going to be made pretty soon. It's true. And that's going to be, it looks like it's almost behind Justin there. 2 1. Might be a game changer for Faustin. It will if they bring in a new pitcher. Here, hoping to shut the Towson runners down. This has just been a bad inning for them. Six runs scored, only one out. Mealy digging in, 2-1. Quebec trying to find anything. And that's a good piece of hitting. Shortstop able to field it, rips it over to first base. But Hart, all right. And that'll be the third out of the inning. So, Faustin is able to get out of that. Quebec stays in the entire game. So we're going to go to the top of the six, but it's 8 nothing Towson. Damage has been done on some hits by Steinbacher, Bain, Kennedy. Great hitting all around. And Top of the back. six here. And we're back. Nice lead in. Miss us? Hope you did. You should have. Drosky pitching again, obviously now with a much more comfortable lead. 8 nothing. Towson look like they're keeping the same people in all game. 
It's been a good game overall, as we said. And Ooh. that's a rip to the right side. Falsa needed that. Oh, Stamanos almost looked like he was going to have a play at first. Just bounces off his glove a little bit. He's smiling out there. He knows that. Might have had a play. Just bobbled it a bit. Good piece of hitting there for number five, Farley. Oh, and he's being switched out. And he's being switched out for number three. That is Nalls coming back into the game after he was taken out earlier for, I believe, Flanagan. And now they're going back to the top of the order here. Number eight, Baugus Kimes. Baugus Kimes. So Falston trying to have a rally of their own as Towson did get back into this game. It's obviously still possible. Anything can happen with two innings left to go. They were hitting a little bit better with these past couple innings, getting a little bit more comfortable, but it's a tall task for this Falston lineup. And that's a foul ball. Won't be able to get it. Runner first number three. Obviously, they did sub him in most likely for his speed. So you know he is looking to gun at any time. All of the people involved in that play know it. Bain at first, Drosky pitching, Steinbacher catching, and Tally and Boyce on those middle infield positions. They want to get this guy off the base pass. He's taking a big lead here. Drosky pitches, does not go. And that's a strike. 2-0-2. Two, oh two. two strikes. He's got to work with it. Try to make something happen. They don't want to send this guy down. They want to get a couple runners on for their next few hitters. And swings and a miss. Is that a bad pitch? And he is out. Drosky puts it in the dirt. And gets the guy to chase. So this is number 10 now, Rock. That's not what Faustin needed. Rock, lefty. Might see him try to steal this time. Takes a lead. Does not steal. That's a strike. The coach is yelling at Mike to go a little bit further back. Knows the guy has some power. Knows he's Ooh. most likely to hit on the right field side. And, oh, that was very close. A beautiful pickoff from Drosky right to Sam Bain's glove. Did not even need to move it. However, just got back there in time. Good speed shown from the runner. So number 10, Rock digs in again. And here's the pitch from Nate Drosky. That's going to be a little bit high. Drosky, obviously... Not much of note because no runs have scored. Has struggled with control a little bit today. Walked a couple people. Trying to make sure he reins it in just enough to get this out. Maybe even in an inning ending double play. No steal here, and that's going to be in the dirt again. As we said, he's trying to throw it low. Someone throws a little bit too low. Worked on the last hitter. Rock taking that one, though. Two balls, one strike. Drosky looking back in. Oh, here comes the runner. That's a swing and a miss. And... <gasps> Rico looks a little shameful. He just... He thought he got him. He knew he was running. Tally running in front. Having a little bit of fun there on the base path. He was running in front. Trying to make something happen there. Tag him with Boyce on the back. I don't know if Boyce would have gotten there. He might have been safe anyway. You're saying no. That's probably true. Bain's got to get back there. Flips it. Great play by Drosky. Wild will got to watch for on third. Almost goes around. That's two outs. That is two outs. Anyway, as we were saying, Tally ran in front, trying to get the ball with the tag. Unable to get him in time. But a solid piece of hitting to move the runner up there from Fox. And here's number two. I'm sorry, that's Fox's up right now. Rock at the solid piece of hitting. Nulls looking to score, get, get Falson's first run of the game, break open that barrier. He's taking a wide lead. He's confident. He is, but that's a swing and a miss. Oh, then he goes back. Well, you do have to go back every pitch. Yeah, I'm just pointing out it was a far, it was a far stride Fox, he it made. It was. He needed yeah. to go back. Number two takes it up high. Fox. 
Ostrowski wanting to end this inning here. Make this quick. And then bring the closer for the top of the seventh. But not really a save opportunity. Ostrowski pitching, number two. Good check, swing. Looked like he wanted to swing that, but that pitch was a little bit low. Can definitely trick some people there. As the coach was just saying, they want to get themselves in good hitters' counts, making sure that they feel confident over the ball, letting the pitcher do what they want as opposed to doing the pitcher ones. And that's a strike. Two strikes now. Two strikes now on Fox. Number two. Knowing that Nalls is probably going to run on contact unless it's a pop-up. Drossi's got to be playing smart. And they're playing him aggressive, and that's a strike. Strike three, inning over. Top of the six, no harm done for Towson, even with a runner on third. We're going to the bottom of the six, 8 nothing Towson High School against the Falston Cougars. And we're back for the bottom of the sixth inning as Sam Bain takes a strike right there. Bain had a nice hit there on his first at bat. Got was able to get a double with an air. And Bain pokes it out, and that is going to go harmlessly over the fence. So looking like two strikes here for Bain quickly. And this is a new pitcher. As we were saying, Kavek's taken out, Rainer's in. He has a little bit of a kind of underhand sidearm Darren O'Day type delivery. As you can see there, more of a sidearm than a submarine. But can definitely be tricky to hit that one, just a odd coming out, the way the pitches rise, everything like that. But Bain's taking two straight balls in a row. Good eye. And swings and a miss, and that's going to set him down. Tried to put a good swing on it, was unable to get it. So that's a quick first at bat. Good start there by Rayner. As we go to the second hitter, Rico Talley, still in the game with Ryan Boyce right behind him. Two, three, four. And Talley taking the pitch down low, but that's going to be a strike. Foston crowd liking it. Looking for anything really to cheer for so far this game. And he is quick. Rayner. Not much time taking the scene sets. However, Tally did take a timeout to get him a little bit more breathing room. Have some parents looking very satisfied with this game. Wanted to come out and see a win, and they have so far. Got to just stick with it for the last inning. That's going to be low. Obviously, that can be some of the issue with people who throw lower down, missing that pitch low, letting it fall down. But it can definitely be tricky as he takes another pitch. Two balls, one strike, so he takes another pitch low. Tally had a nice hit last time to bring Bain around. And he pops that one up foul going into the Greek. Another one. That's why they wanted to put a net out there. But now they just kind of go and fetch them. So it's a good time. Here's the pitch to Tally. And he Ooh. swings and rockets one past the shortstop who dove. Tried to make the play, was unable to come up with it, looked a little bit angry at himself. Good piece of hitting there from Tally. It's another good liner. He just has a great plane of flight on these balls. Hard to make a play. That shortstop had to dive for it. Even if he had trapped it, Tally still probably would have made it to the bag. It's a good piece of hitting there. Great player. Ryan Boyce up, hitting cleanup. Trying to get a couple more runs on. As we said, this is a big game for Towson feeling confident. And if they can continue and take this win, maybe add a couple more runs, that got to feel be. Feeling great going into Hereford, as a, some of the players said earlier in the game. So there's a timeout here. But to, continue, to continue what I was saying, Hereford is a tough team, ranked pretty highly in this class, uh, in Towson's class, that is. Knowing they're a good team, knowing they can make the playoffs, knowing that it's a big game, their first one of the season, they just wanted to be able to come out here and do well, which they've done to perfection. Here's the pitch. Outside, not a strike. Tally stays on first. Boy's taking some time. Got to take his time himself. The pitcher is very great to play. Probably tries to throw hitters off with that, but hitters got to be confident. 
outside again. And a little bit high. Ryan Boyce getting this count where he likes it, 2-0. Oh. Rainer digging in again. That's a strike. Two balls, one strike. Rico coming back to the bag a little bit. Looked like he was taking a big, and that's another going to be another timeout for the catcher and the pitcher. As we were saying, this is scrimmage is a perfect time to work on that camaraderie and teamwork. So that's why they're taking some conferences, trying to figure out what they're doing. For a catcher, obviously throwing sidearm or submarine is tough as well. Not really what you're used to, not really what you train with. So having this in high school is definitely a very valuable asset. If you can get the control right. Tally, not taking a large lead. Already a pickoff just thrown there. Here's the pitch. Boyce takes that again outside. Just seems to be curving away from him a little bit. So it's 3-1. and one. Boyce looking to tee off now. But they're playing him very much so far back. A swing and a miss. He was going for everything there. Unable to get it. 3-2. and two. Ryan Boyce setting up again. Here's the pitch from Rainer. Ryan Boyce fouls it back, back to the creek. Tally, taking a bit of a lead off first. Here come the Cougars. And that's going to be fouled off as well. In the field right now is an update for the Cougars. Looks like there's a number 14 in. We don't have the roster. Here's the pitcher to boys. And swing and a miss. He fought as hard as he could, but Rainer gets the better of him. Must feel good for Rainer. You like to see that now with two outs. And here comes Ryan Kennedy, just had an RBI, scored two people on a scorcher. Towson not only has just been hitting the ball where nobody is, but been hitting the ball well. Hard, line outs, lines, ground outs, not many pop-ups or anything like that. Getting innings, getting runs, the good way. Kendy looking to recreate what just happened on his last at bat. Here's the pitch from Rainer, and that's a strike. That's one of the. That's another time today that Kendy has thought that he maybe he had a ball and was unable to get it. Just look at looking like those pitches low. And he holds Rico. Doesn't want to end the inning on that. This is the bottom of the six. So after this, Towson shuts the team down one last time. They get the win. Ryan Kendi. Right there. That's a strike as well. Didn't seem happy about that one either. Got to protect the zone. Cheered on by his teammates. Looks like Tate Teixeira is coming up after him. That's going to be outside. Yeah, it looks like Tate Teixeira is coming in for Michael Stamatos. Teixeira, third baseman, number 38. Kennedy looking to bring Rico around. Swing and a miss. And that's going to do it for the bottom of the six here. Towson, no runs here. One hit there from Tally. As we go to the top of the seventh, Towson looking to close this game out. Good pitching performance from Rainer. Top of the seventh tier. Towson looking for three more outs. End the game on a great performance by them. 25, Jordan Drosky still in the game. A lot of insurance run. Just going to use his arm. Try to close this one out. Jordan digging in. Here's the pitch from Trosky. That's going to be high. 2-0. and Hitters count. Faustin hoping for a miracle comeback here. Swing and a miss. 
two and one. Jurassic, you like seeing that. Looks like just same defensive lineup for Towson as well to close out this game. Trosky, here's the pitch, number 25. That's low as well. Trosky just struggling with that control a bit, as we were saying earlier. Keeps putting those pitches a little bit low. Trying to get those hitters to chase, which they have a couple times. But now he's 3-1 and one in this count. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be inside. Off the zone. Number 25 gets on base. All right, and here comes number 17. As we were saying, Melo Velez in for Quebec, who was hitting designated hitter, but then pitched. Jordan staying into pinch run. Or, I'm sorry, saying into not pinch run. 17, definitely, I think, their best pitching performance of this game. Shut the Towson lineup down pretty well. Went about a couple innings and a, and a change when he came in for Jordan early. And here's the... And he's running. Oh, unable to hold it. He was running there. As I was saying, here's the pitch, but he was started running. Gets the free bag as Mel Villas takes it. And fouls that pitch off. Looking like it's one ball, two strikes. No outs here. Drossi looking to make this inning quick and easy. Oh, gets past him. He's going to get third as well. He can't find the ball. Ball's at the backstop. He's trying to find the ball so the runner can't score. And he'll be able to find it. Keeps the shutout alive, Ooh. but now runner at third. Number 25 mocks them. A little bit of bad blood here. Even down, you know, they still have the heart of a cougar. Valdez. Velez, I'm sorry. Velez trying to bring the runner in. Takes a little bit of a timeout. Falston, first sign of something in a while. Drosky steps off the bag. And big lead. Comes back. Swing and a miss on a bad low pitch. Tags the runner out on the drop third strike. So that's going to be one out. As we were saying, Drosky is getting some people to chase on those low pitches. One out now. Trying to make sure that runner does not get home. Gets a little bit low. Ball one. Number 13, Kovac now hitting the place for Nalls. Two zero. Now he's looking for something down the middle, a little bit slower, a little bit more controlled. Looking to turn on that pitch, bring the runner home, get him on base. Here's the pitch. And that's what he got, but he did not swing at it. So that's a strike, two and one. Now he's ready for it. I think that's what Fawcett does need to work on from this game, if there's anything. just They have their chances, just got to turn on this pitch, just play more a little bit more aggressive as he fouls that one back. So it's 2-2. Two -two. Stepping up, trying to get that bat on the ball, as we've been saying. And that pitch is just going to go a little bit outside. Drosky coming in, but Steinbacher's got it. He's a good defensive catcher. So I believe it's 3-2. and two. With Quebec. Looking to end this game on a good note, even after a unsatisfying pitching performance for him. I'm sure he's like would like to build on this. And, and that's he how does. he does it. Can Corman make the play? No, he cannot. No. It gets over his head. So Kvest coming in around. He scores the first runner. He's coming around to second. Will he go for third? Throw is in. He Rico handles it. Second. And that's what you like to see if you're Falston. And just like you like to see, not a great pitching performance today, but has a good hit. Scores the first run of the game for Falston. It is now one to eight. Towson High School obviously still winning. Mm -hmm. 
but a great piece of hitting. Hits just over Ethan Corman's head, unable to get high enough to get the ball. So he gets a good standing up double. I love seeing the spirits of the false inside lifted again. That's good. It's good always, even if they are unable to pull out the rally here. They can leave knowing that they worked they them fought. down a little bit more. They did fight. Yeah. Yes, they did. This is one Elliot. Quebec taking a big lead. Found him back off into the creek. Elliot. Taking back in Evan Elliot. Pretty decent sized lead there. Here's the pitch. And that's a hit. But Bain, oh, unable to get that, unable to corral it. Unhappy with himself. Just almost had that, fell out of his glove a little bit. Tough play. Runners now in first and second. So, Falston making some noise. Two runners on, only one out. Get a good hit here from number 11, Slitcher. Moving line. Batters all over the lineup, trying to get something that works, which it looks like it is so far. Not a great hit, but you got to take what you can get. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there from Drosky. Obviously, the runner ended up to advance, making sure that he didn't get thrown out if Bain had caught that ball. Here's the pitch from Drosky. Oh, it's still a little bit low. Just got to bring that up more, as we've been saying. As we can hear the coach saying that he wants them to be more aggressive on the base path, hoping to bring some runners in scoring position. Get a good picture going in the head of Slitcher, number 11. And a little bit windier and colder as well. And that's another piece of hitting. Gets over the head. He might go in the score. Mealy rocketing it in. Oh, gets a pass. Gets past Steinbacher as well. Those runners are moving up now. So, Elliott now at third. Double for Slitcher. Good hit over the middle infield's head, right to Mealy. Mealy rocketed it in. Nice pitch, st nice throw. Steinbacher unable to handle it. So one runner scores. It's now 2-8 Falston, so they are making more noise. And now have runners in scoring position. Two people with only one out, with number 14 coming up. Everyone loves to come back. They do, except Towson. Well... They're hoping it isn't on They're them. Correct. And he's going to foul that one off. Hits some trees, falls down. So one strike, one out. Falson making some noise. Getting a little bit scarier. So here's the pitch from Jaroski. Two runners on scoring position. Oh, Ooh, hits, him. hits him. Hits him. He has he lost his control. He walks to the base, gets a free base pass, and now there's two ba bases are loaded. Now, interestingly, Ooh. Natalie, without that big inning that they had in the bottom of the fifth, it's a tie game right now without, without those six runs. Drosky, True. obviously, they kept him in there because they didn't want to use too much pitching before their uh, first game. Drosky does normally play in the field, but seems to be losing his control here. And that just slipped out of his hand pretty easily. Hit him in the back there. But now with one out, it's the top of the seventh. Falston, it's getting exciting. Three runners on. What can they do here? Number 12 digging in. That's Flanagan. Flanagan looking to get something going here. If he can get a hit here, especially an extra baser, that's at least two runs scored. And that is a big confidence booster for Falston. We still only have one out. And he takes one low again. People are definitely getting more anxious now. Yes, they you hear are. hear the roar of the crowd more. I got some jitters myself. How you Seems doing, Liam? Like I got some jitters myself. I don't know if it's from the lack of sun out right now or this game, but I'd say probably both. And he slaps Ooh, one. Oh, Corman good play it. there right. Corman gets it to third. Beautiful dive there on a little bit of a slip. That's another run in for Falston. Makes it two, eight to three. But Corman gets the important out there, gets rid of the runner. Mm -hmm. Now only has one runner in scoring position. So it's one and two, first and second, two outs. He needs to get this one last out. If Corman doesn't make that play or lets that ball get past him, that could easily be two runs scored and the, or the bases still being loaded. 
So good play there by Corman. This is number five, Farley. Here's the pitch from Drosky. Low again. And runners are moving. They were expecting something like that. So now two runners are in scoring position. Now only two, still two outs. So Towson that has that five-run cushion. As we've been saying, those insurance don't always count. Without those, this is a much more stressful game for Towson. Drosky knows he's still got some things to play with. Got to remind himself of that. Got to get back to the way he was pitching the first couple innings. Now he's allowed three runs. That's going to be a little bit low as well. Number five, Far Farley. Farley has been just looking for his pitch. Knowing Drosky's tendencies. Here's the pitch. That's going to be low as well, but good stop by Steinbacher on a bit of a dangerous pitch. Here, Nate Drosky, you just got to take a deep breath, which he's doing right now. Smart play here. Playing with the hair a little bit, taking a nice deep breath. Knowing that you can do this and that you have done this. Just needs to get one more out to end the game here. Taking sizable leads. Drosky steps off. It's calming down a bit. Yes, he is. Looks like number seven is on the on-deck circle. Kellner, who has not had a play appearance this game. And that's a strike. Perfect. Drosky did what he needed to do. Now he's got a strike going. Just looking at this game. They made him sweat a little bit, Faustin did. But Towson could end the game here. Here's the pitch. That's a strike. Two strikes. Towson could end the game right on this pitch. Two strikes, two outs. Parents are standing up, ready to go wild, if Towson can pull this one out. Obviously, that one's my big baseball. such an exciting sport. You're really never out of it. No time, no clock or anything. It's all up to you to continue this game. Here's the pitch from Drosky. Oh, that's high. And he takes his walk. I'm sorry, it was 3-2. Takes his walk, so now the bases are loaded again. Two outs. The number seven getting his first hacks. Just as the coach is saying, just looking for contact. They're going to sub in number three, Nulls, as we've seen, pinch run, their go-to pinch runner. So now the bases are loaded. And you got the tying run in the on-deck circle. Now, obviously, you need a few series of hits here or walks or something like that. But this is much now become much closer to a stressful game for Towson. How's it back? And they've shown this before, and this is definitely something they want to get over. Just a little bit trouble closing out games when teams are getting more feistier, just looking to get anything. Tassin needs to work, as we've said. We're knocked out of the playoffs last year by something like this, where they had a lead, lost it. They got to work on closing the game out. Another good stop by Steinbacher. He has really shown his prowess as a defensive catcher, made sure no balls got past him, nothing bounced his way, just sitting right in front of it. There's two outs now for Drosky. Kellner up. Falston's got some life. Here's the pitch. And that's a high pop-up. That's going to end the game if they can make the play. Drosky looking to make it himself. And no, Rico, Rico gets, it, gets it. And that will be the game. Falston with a great comeback attempt in the end. Had runners in scoring position. But that's going to end the game. 8-3 Towson. Good performance all around. And thank you for joining us here on AC Sports. I'm Liam. I'm Natalie. And this was a great day for baseball. Thank you. Bye-bye.